A brand new space pirate character has beef with grief in the latest episode of The Mandalorian, but the man behind the mask is an industry veteran. Here's what Vane looks like in real life. Season 3 of The Mandalorian offers up another glimpse into the lives of Pedro Pascal's Din Djarin, the ever-adorable Grogu, and plenty of other returning characters. But it also adds quite a few fresh faces to the mix. Among the newcomers is an intimidating space pirate named Vane. A frequenter of the Navarro locale, Vane doesn't take kindly to the new direction of the city after its liberation from the hands of the Empire. He's also clearly got a history with Grief Karga, a plot thread that seems ripe for expansion in the series' future. It was your cut of my boss's treasure that built this saloon. Beyond his plot significance, the most striking thing about Vane is his physical appearance. The space pirate's face is quite striking, lacking any discernible nose and sporting horns not too dissimilar from those on Darth Maul. It's such an out-there appearance that viewers may be shocked to learn what the actor behind Vane looks like when he's not buried under heaps of prosthetics. The man who plays Vane is Marty Matulis, a 6'4 American actor known for his creature work in horror, fantasy, and science fiction. Matulis has appeared in a bunch of popular TV shows for decades, though almost invariably as characters that require heavy prosthetics or elaborate costume design. Back in the sixth season of American Horror Story, Matulis recurred as the sinister Piggy Man, a ghost that sports the giant severed head of a pig. He appeared as several different monstrous characters on Teen Wolf, and he's occupied a similar role for the Paramount Plus supernatural drama Evil. One of the actor's most high-profile appearances in recent years, however, is his role in the 2022 horror film Smile. In the movie's climax, when audiences finally get a brief glimpse at the true form of the malevolent Smile entity haunting the characters, Matulis is the one who brings the demonic mass of flesh and teeth to life. All in all, Matulis is quietly one of the key players in the modern landscape of horror and sci-fi. If anything, his eventual debut into the canon of Star Wars through The Mandalorian was something of an inevitability. It also means he gets to join the distinguished club of actors who have appeared in both Star Trek and Star Wars at one point or another. On an episode of Daniel Schurl's Memories of a Moonbird podcast, Matulis went in-depth on how demanding roles that require heavy prosthetics can get telling the host that he typically sports a shaved head and face to make for easier gluing. The transformation often takes hours to complete, and Matulis, of course, has a front row seat. I just sit in a chair, looking into a mirror as I watch these ridiculously talented people build this creation on top of me. Even once the makeup and materials have been applied, Matulis has to account for his altered physicality when giving his performance. He told Sheryl, I might have to put 30% more effort into my angry face or whatever happens during the scene. So that's my time to figure out how I can translate myself through the makeup and make the makeup look alive and not like a rubber mask. It's tough work, but Matulis has nevertheless stuck with the job for more than 20 years. As major roles like Vane in The Mandalorian and the Smile Entity in Smile demonstrate, that commitment has paid off. Matulis shared on the podcast, As a younger actor, I thought, oh, that's really cool, but it's more of a step to do something else. Now, as a nearly 50-year-old kid, I adore this process.